Hello, welcome back to a special episode of Shadow of Mordor. I'm Jade Star. I'm Aramon PK. And it's time to play Orkamon. Oh. Yeah, I don't have a whole lot of intel on the board, but the chat wanted... Not the chat, sorry, I just stopped dreaming. Uh, the thread wanted uh, Mozu the Poet and Fulgrim the Biter. Uh, and then also we were kind of split on what to do with Pug the Useless. Uh, we had a couple people say totally recruit him and try to get him to be a war chief, and a couple people are like, nah, just have him run away constantly, uh, which is actually really easy when he's afraid of everything, including yeah. us specifically. Yeah. I think it would be funnier to make you a war chief, but what did the thread actually bug? I've been avoiding looking at the polls, so I spoil myself. <laughs> oh. uh, they're actually split. Uh, I got just as many votes for recruiting him as I did for just constantly scaring him. Oh. So I don't know what to do. You know, I'm indecisive. Relieve me from the burden of choice. Well, as I said, it would be funnier to make him a war chief, I think. Knock him down. The worst war chief ever. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. Cougar or Ratbag, who do you think would... Win? Like, Ratbag, Lose? as I said, like, Ratbag didn't have all those weaknesses. It's true. Poog actually has more weaknesses than Ratbag. I think Poog actually had a strength or two, though. Uh, I can't remember. It's been a while. He had something in red. Yeah. Uh, so, we're going to try to get two recruits this video to start our orc army building. Uh, and then also I'm trying to just get a lot of worms, because there's just so much Nemesis board in black we need to get intel on. Yeah. Uh, also, now that we have Dominate, uh, I can't just sneak up and interrogate like that. Now it brands them, and I'm like, but I wanted the information from his brain. Well... Still, still not. No, no, that's... It used to work. He's got an iron grip. Or maybe it doesn't work. Maybe it's because I've been playing Shadow of War in my off time. Maybe. Like, confusing the mechanics. That's right. That's right. No, you gotta tackle them and drain them. You can't... Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it's this... Yeah, okay. Wait. The sequel, you can kind of give them the ghost hand from a distance. I still feel like stealth draining. Used to interrogate them. Ah, oh, see, this is what happens when I play like two games at the same time. Especially yeah, you similar. shouldn't have done that. Nani here, Galar Mordor. Starting to take shape. What the heck is this collectible? Oh, Down it's right there. there. I feel like it should have been visible from up there. Oh, maybe it's then they make us take the same no. barrels back sure. there. What's in these barrels anyway? Hmm. Yeah, I didn't remember this one. Increasingly bizarre, disturbing rights. Yeah. Oh, good. Hold on. Memories are out here somewhere. No. <laughs> Hold on. I got. There it is. By the white waters of the river Unleam. By the colors so many they burn bright. May none and now look to Marwen. To my gift of second sight, may the elements of earth, fire, air form gateway to worlds unseen. Spirits of Valinor, hear my prayer and grant great power new to the shore's queen. I'm sure that's fine. Yeah. Also seems like a really crappy poem, but you know, whatever. They can't all have like these tribes when it does. They will do anything to resist the Ukes. My fearless Ariel will never surrender. 
Her honor will doom them all. It's, it's all always doomed. So, thankfully, our two targets, uh, Mozu and Fulgrim, are in power struggles. So they're going to be really oh. easy to find. Also, daylight. I need to remember to advance time so that I record the majority of the LP at night. Or a day. A day. <laughs> <laughs> nope, can't shadow strike him. Like, normally during the daytime, like, there's... Damn it, again. Normally during the nighttime, there's no reason to not play during the nighttime when you play a single player. Uh, is this is this problem a result of your bizarre sleep pattern at the moment? Yeah, it might be. You, you've completely reversed day and night in your mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, you know, day is when you're active, which is also when the sun's down. <laughs> yeah! Somebody sneaking around! Just what's happening in my brain right now. I thought you were going to say this was a special episode because it's the Independence Day special. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, it is technically today. I but, know that you, the way you mark time is when you go to sleep, it's yeah. the next day, so... Yeah, yeah, so it's 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 not the right day for me yet. Uh, also, you know, since, like, 2016, I've lost all pride in being an American. <laughs> Which is really sad. Oh, shoot, this guy has no chance. But he's also vulnerable to ranged attack, so, you know, it'll work out. Yeah. I haven't worn my American flag bandana on my head in a long time. It's really quite good. Yeah. No, I mean, you said you were right. Did you guys do anything to celebrate the fourth over there in England? No. <laughs> it's like, oh, you know, mark the anniversary of you losing the colonies or something. It's like with disdain in the cup of TV like, ah, oh, we didn't want those colonies anyway. Such a bother. No, we don't really care. <laughs> See? That's a, I didn't want them anyway. We do celebrate um, the uh, victory in the War of 1812 every year, though. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. It's a spider egg. I speak with the mouth of Sauron, the second dog lord of this Middle Earth. Our will is his will. Mordor is ours, and fairly won. You will take this message from Sauron. Spider Queen Shiob, the last daughter of Ungoliant. Your eggs will not be allowed to hatch in Mordor. Your children will no longer prey on the Morgul flies. You will depart this realm, abandon your nests in non Ungo. You have grown fat on our generosity. We have fed you as we would a pet. Allowed you to run unfettered. This ends now. Our union, as it was, has ended. Our will is irresistible. We have spoken. Uh, I feel like that didn't really work out. Sauron racist to spiders. Uh. Every creature here seems to live to slaughter every other. And every one of them will learn to fear us above all. Calibrimbor, damn dude, come on. Like, yeah. Really starting to sound like one of the baddies. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, yeah, Mozu the Poet's up first. We're hopefully going to recruit him and his flaming sword and his limericks, I guess. Let's rest here a bit! <laughs> eh, he's not very poetic. This is also an interesting one, because he's getting ambushed, but not by another captain, just by grunts. Oh! Which really confused me. Mazu. Vulnerable to stealth, okay. Yeah, okay. Pretty decent guy, I suppose. As he... You know, does the slit throat gesture with a flaming sword. Yeah. 
That seems unwise. Yeah, we haven't. We just got the branding. Yeah. I was saving my blade for another. But how can I resist giving it to you instead? Man, this guy doesn't even rhyme. Yeah, I was just thinking that. What a crap poet. So, uh, do you remember his strengths and weaknesses? Because I didn't. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. Well, he wasn't so tough. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I presume that was an ambushing work. Yeah, I guess. So, remember how I have the memory of a goldfish? Let's accidentally kill everyone the thread folks to brand. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. We're gonna go get Fulgum the Viner, and this failure's fresh in my mind, so I'm gonna pay more attention to his strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's totally not gonna happen twice in a row. Just really hoping for some forks to teleport stab to, save myself to run. <laughs> Maybe, uh, maybe near the next capital and be some slaves you can kill at the same time. <laughs> Damn, Arvin. First you blame me for not saving them, then you just outright lie that I'm the one killing them. You've killed, I think, at least two. I don't think so. Love the orc conversations. Move yeah. Glob. Oh, look at this guy. Uh oh. Uh. Whatever. We're not gonna deal with him. Okay. First recruit. We've got this. Just don't instantly kill. Yep. Are you joking? This isn't even a challenge! It's got a poison weapon. Okay, now just to quickly remember what his strengths and weaknesses yeah, are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. No instant death vulnerabilities. No. Okay. I can't fuck this up and instantly kill him by mistake. You like the spikiness? Enraged that the creatures cannot be tamed. <laughs> Someone saw that. that really? One guy, yeah, with a little yellow arrow. So maybe they can see that Caliburn boy? Oh, oh, it's saying you. Yeah, well, I got most of them. Yeah. So, uh. Oh. Your captain's in green. That's not a good thing. Oh, no, it's fine. He won. Oh, well, if he's in green, that's good. Well, it also means the Caragor might have killed him. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, he got promoted to a bodyguard. Because oh. Golful the Ripper needs wow. everybody to protect him. Apparently, yeah. Evidently, he full heals after the trial. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that before. Let us not waste time. I've waited long enough. Well, at least we get to fight him alone now. Fucking Bane here. <laughs> I was born at the dog. Wait. <laughs> really? Use the dark. Like Mordor. Huh? You merely came to guard Mordor's borders. Ah, oh, I was born in Mordor. Really? Ugh. Oh. Uh, ugh. That. That dude looks like he's got some problems. He, he does. Yeah. Just all of them. See, we did it. We have an orc captain. And he's a war chief bodyguard, too. For extra surprise betrayal, I guess. Yeah. I'm happy about that. I mean, Mozu was a little unfortunate, but we got Fulgrim. It's good. It's good. Yeah. There'll be more orcs. Besides, he was a shitty poet anyway. There are always more orcs. <laughs> it really is. Oh, this was me uh, searching for the other thing that the thread voted for, which was Avenge Torlon again, but apparently he hasn't been killed lately. So I was like, oh shit, I need a plan B. Oh, I need dispatch for that, which is the kill all your branded dudes. Great. So uh, we'll go do another dagger challenge. Uh, oh, I already forgot. Was it Gorgoroth? What was the uh, previous region? Yeah, maybe. I can remember. Right. I, I really need, like, a map. They don't, they don't well say it often them. enough for it to stick in my head. Like, I can always right. remember that this is Nernan, but... Yeah. Because they say Nernan over and over again. Right. Uh, the, the weapon challenges in the previous area, which may or may not be Gorgoroth, uh, are all really easy. Um... Starting here, we get into some really difficult challenges, uh, especially the dagger ones, because they want you to completely avoid detection or else you fail. Uh, and mm. Much like that one I edited out last video, because I failed it four times in a row and still haven't succeeded at it. Oh. I don't try it again, but, you know. Uh, however, this one is slightly easy. That's me, you idiot! I killed one earlier and got it. Just say that it, it says eliminate the uh, torchbearers. It doesn't say how. So I don't actually need to go run up to them and stab them with the knife. I'm telling you, no. you want to tame that crowd. <laughs> also, that might have been a bit ambitious. Yeah. There's some yellow spots lighting up. Yeah, it looks like you might have go away with it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we're fine. Also, my strategy of tap G to distract right before I jump on them. It's ridiculous that that works. It's great. Did you hear that? <laughs> This is actually kind of a long mission just because detection immediately fails it. Yeah, it just means you have to be more cautious and sneaky. Yeah, funny you should mention that. It's always going to take more time. Oh, oh. Yeah. I'm not entirely well, sure what triggered that. Him but seeing you with his as, eyes. What, what? As I was stabbing him in the eyes? <laughs> yeah. I feel like it could count if, you know, he doesn't live long enough to do anything about noticing us. It says avoid detection. Yeah. He detected you. <laughs> Oh, okay, fine game. I won't go up this tower yep. to collect the artifact. Nope. Italian. 
Sometimes yeah. Italian uh, yep. gets a little sticky. It has Ezio syndrome. Yeah. The auto parkour, I think we discussed it like the first episode. It works well almost all the time. And then sometimes you're like, fuck, fuck. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So as I mentioned, uh, the, the first attempt at this, it doesn't actually tell you how you have to kill the torch bearers. So I realized that after failing. I was like, wait a minute. I don't need to go down there and yeah. stab them. I just need them to die. Die, yeah. Hmm. So what about shooting them from 150 feet away? Yeah, that's fine. It feels a little against the spirit of a dagger challenge. But, uh, yeah. But we're, sp we're being stealthy. Not detecting us. That guy to stick his head around from the corner, or I need to find a position to farther to the left. in the mission description or the objective but I didn't realize that killing all of the torch bearers in one location creates like a ghoul infestation yeah which I'm not sure helps in the whole stealthiness or hurts it I don't know but it certainly distracts all of the orcs in the immediate area once you kill all the torch bearers Is there an orc right below me? Minimap says yes. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. It'd be really unfortunate if I just, like, dropped down Bell and got him. spotted. Yeah. Well, if I fell directly on him, we'd probably kill him. I do love that, like, the parkour jumps will just fly the orcs off ledges. Oh, there's a... So the first set, uh, yeah, he's blocked. So the yeah. first set of guys was really easy because they're out in a big open arena area without a lot of cover. But now we're in this uh, favela, I guess, kind of this favela. Yeah, this giant conglomerate of crappy wooden shacks built upon each other. And it leads to a lot of verticality, a lot of cover, and not always great ways to approach or lines of sight to shoot the torch bearers. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was some ragdolling. I love death physics. Like any game that lowers the volume or weight of a uh, of an object on its death and then apply some physics to it is one of the best games. Everyone knows that 75% of the mass of a person oh, is salt. <laughs> <laughs> so, so right, yeah, yeah, when you kill them they go flying because they're, they're yeah. not being weighed down anymore. Now, I'm hoping I can get these last two torch bearers without having to deal with the captain, because obviously the captain knows this means game over, or, well, mission restart. Well, if anyone knows you, it is, so... Yeah. The captain's a lot more alert. He's moving around a lot more. We need a lot more materials than we got. And he's climbing on places that the regular orcs don't go. Like, oh, yeah. Actually, I think he also might have one of the traits that makes him more likely Sniffer. to find us. Might be. He does seem to be following you. Yeah. That's right. I don't have intel on him, so I don't know for sure. I thought I heard something. I suppose it was. I was 
looking forward to testing my blade too. It's really hoping the torchbearers would have a a line of fire from here. This guy. I mean, go <laughs> You're always so jumpy. I think eventually I gave up on sniping and realized if I can just safely remove all of the orcs from the vicinity, it's just less yeah. eyes to observe me. Now, I can't do that to the captain. There's no way to one-shot the captain. Uh, well, there might be, but you don't know what it is. Right. And I don't think, like, taking a chance that he's mortally vulnerable to stealth uh, or ranged is going to work. No, no. <laughs> Uh. See, it's fine. Yeah. That captain. He must just be wandering around this place finding dead orcs everywhere. I'm, I'm surprised he isn't complaining more. I'm gonna make him suffer. I definitely think he's like a sniffer or a tractor. I don't see him. I'll be standing over his corpse. Okay. Okay, finally this guy has wandered out from, like, below the bridge. And I'm gonna shoot him right in front of the captain. Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> hey, thanks, ghouls. Now, I could try to, like, grab him and brand yeah, him or immediately kill him, but I really don't want to screw with detection at this moment. Yeah, that's fair enough. Horrible ghoul noises. Yeah. Remember, I don't have to be the one that kills the torch bearers, they just need to die. So if some wild caragors show up and maybe eat some orcs, you know, it's all good. And even if they don't get the torch bearers, maybe they get rid of some of the other orcs. Miss a headshot here. Okay, just one left. <sighs> that definitely feels more um, Arkham than the rest of the game. Yeah, that was very much like a predator section from the Arkham games. Yeah. Really got to figure out what you're doing and how you're going to eliminate everybody without getting spotted. But uh, we got to skill up and all that good stuff. So let's get Flame of Vengeance. Yeah, I think I'm going to get Flame of Vengeance. Just so that it can do more damage while not using the, uh, the combo finishers. Yeah. Yeah. That can help. Uh, there's plenty of times where you can just be wailing on a captain after you've like uh, stun fisted him. And having the extra damage on the sword strikes. Really also, nice. very useful against captains who aren't bun who have invulnerability to combat finishes. Oh yeah, good point. I thought you of just that. never press the button. Right, because you're not going to get anything out of it, so it might yeah. as well. Yeah. No. It's so good. you just carry on wailing him on him with a flaming sword. Hold on, I just realized. Now, by default, Talion's sword glows. Blue. We're using the rune that makes it fire and orange. Yeah. But by default, it's blue. And I don't know much about Tolkien, as I've expressed before in these many videos, but I do know of two swords that glow blue. And those are, like, uh, Sting and Biter, the, the anti-orc yeah. swords. Is Talon's sword related to those? It's glow in the presence of evil. Oh, I thought it was specifically orcs, but, you know, whatever, same thing. I Although, I doubt that Talion's sword is supposed to be, like, related to those. It's just that they, they wanted a visual representation for when yeah. your combo finisher was ready. And it's it's befitting the uh, the story or the world that they're in to glow blue like that. Because it'll, it's something that's already established that, like, there's a couple other swords that do this. So, it, you know, it fits. I, I always just figured that it was a manifestation of your ghost elf power being strong. Oh, okay, sure. Because, uh, kind of Brimble's blue, also. 
Okay, that makes sense, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. Nope, nope. Oh, I need that. Oh. Hold on. No, he's fine. He's fine. Yeah. He's at half health, but you know, he's fine. We'll get him an orc snack. Uh, interestingly, the Karagor is not actually needed for this mission. You don't need to do anything while mounted or riding or with the Karagor. Although, I don't know if you'd be able to make the travel times involved without him. Probably would, but it would be tighter, certainly. Yeah. I, I feel like this challenge was supposed to be to kill these three groups of orcs while mounted, but combat yeah. on foot is just so much easier than mounted. It doesn't say that. I probably just would have shot them all. That's your solution to everything, Arna. <laughs> Not super far away like they were in the previous area. Maybe yeah. if they've done this on foot. What's that noise? Oh, what? Well, it sounded just dragging the dagger through their necks. Yeah. This game is so visceral. I don't know, it's so good. It's definitely not a sort of sanitized, clean depiction of, of combat using medieval weapons. Whoops. Oh no. My execution button does not differentiate friends or foes. And no. The Karagor got a little too close. Uh, sorry, buddy. Yeah. Let's have a moment of silence for Karagor up there. Yeah. Alright, moment over. Identical runes. Mm-hmm. Rip modes of the poet. We won't even be keeping your rune. Uh, this is going to be a short one, because the next one is a plot mission, and it's quite long. And they're just dying without us. Look at this guy, though. Like, a pair of oh. poison sledgehammers. That's cool. Yeah, that is cool. Hey, Poog. <laughs> he somehow got promoted. <laughs> His uncle's a war chief. <laughs> Remember, in Dwarven realms, nepotism isn't a dirty word. Okay, so at least we have... Well, I still need like five more worms, but... We have more uh, intel on who's who on the board, and people can figure out who they want to recruit uh, next time. Well, not next video, but the video after, since I recorded them in twos. Uh, and we can we can get our army going. I don't know how many captains we need, but you know, chat can tell me. Uh, so next time it's going to be a long plot mission. We're going to unlock some more cool, fun things, and I will see you then. Thank you for watching. Bye.